This is News 4 Nashville. For more than 30 years, a Giles County family wants to know what truly happened to their brother. They were told he, along with two other boys, drowned. But WSMV's Marissa Sulik talked with the family who believes they were murdered. As crews pull up this mud caked coffin, what's inside brings a vault of memories. Something like this you won't ever forget, you know. For Timothy Martindale. You know, Stevie would come to our house just about every day. And he would ask my, he would, he would call my wife. He said, Mom, you got anything cooked today? His cousin Stevie Russell Bass died in 1991 along with Timothy's 20-year-old brother, Dennis Martindale, and 16-year-old Patrick Fletcher. People in town say the three boys were found here in Richland Creek off Highway 273. The medical examiner ruled their deaths a drowning. Uh, extreme undercurrent there in, in one place, which would tend to pull you under and downstream. We feel that probably all three drowned as a result of that. Investigators at the time agreed with the medical examiner's report. Their deaths were an accident. But Harlan later had his medical license taken away due to malpractice. And why would anybody come swimming with their shirts and things on, you know? The questions Dennis's mother had then. Because I never did believe it. Yeah, because he still had his shoes on. Her sons still have today. Somebody murdered him. It just, it just didn't add up. When Timothy heard the district attorney wanted to perform another autopsy, he was relieved. It brought tears, you know, and and. And I, you know, I just said, thank God, you know, something's, you know, going to be done, you know. We just want justice, you know. It's, just, it's been a long time, you know. You know, if, if they're still walking around here, they need to pay for what they've done. Mm -hmm. That was Marissa Sulik reporting. The three men are all buried in different cemeteries. Two will be examined by the medical examiner this week. The family of Dennis Martindale says his body will be exhumed from an Alabama cemetery next week.